Hello everyone, with Draytech Web Portal, network administrators can now set up a Vigo router as a hotspot with authentication. The social media login authentication method allows users to log into the network by using their Google or Facebook account. In this video, we're going to show you how to create the Google and Facebook app, generate the app ID and app secret. These will be used in the web portal setup. We will start by creating the Facebook app for web portal authentication. First, go to https colon double forward slash developers.facebook.com forward slash and click on my apps to log in with your Facebook account. You will now need to create an app ID. After the security check, we can set up our Facebook login. Click on the web button, put in your site URL and click on save to apply. Then go to setting then basic, enter your available privacy policy URL and click save changes. Click your app ID, enter https colon double forward slash portal dot draytech dot com colon 8043 in valid OAuth redirect URIs at client OAuth settings. Then click save changes. Go to the dashboard. The app will be activated after you have enabled the app. You can get your app ID and app secret on this page. Click the show button to reveal the app secret. The app ID and app secret will be used in Bigger Router's web portal setup page. We will introduce it later. We will now create the Google app for web portal authentication. Go to https colon double forward slash console.developers.google.com. Log in with a Google account, then click select a project, new project, enter a project name, then click create. Click on the project name, then go into the project settings. API and Services, Dashboard, click Library, then we're going to search Google Plus API. Select the Google Plus API. Press Enable API for this project. Go to Credentials tab, click Create Credentials, select OAuth Client ID, click Configure Consent Screen. Enter the project name and privacy URL. Click save to apply. Choose web application as application type. Then enter credential name. Set authorized JavaScript origin as HTTPS colon double forward slash portal dot com colon 8043 for HTTPS or HTTP column double forward slash portal dot column 8001 for HTTP then click create once completed the client ID and client secret will be displayed this information will be used in the Vigor routers web portal setup page We will now configure the Hotspot Web Portal in the Vigor Router. Go to Hotspot Web Portal, Profile Setup Menu, and click on an available index. It takes five easy steps to set this up. Enable this profile and enter any comments. For Portal method, select Various Hotspot Login. Choose HTTPS for Captive Portal URL. 
Now select Facebook and Google as login methods. For Facebook, enter the app ID and secret that we created previously. Do the same for Google. Enter the app ID and enter secret created earlier. Click save to apply changes. The next step is to set up the background. The background color can be customized or a background image and logo image can be added. In the login page setup, the web portal page can be customized. Web page information such as the welcome message as well as terms and conditions can be added. The next step is to configure the whitelist if required for the profile to allow specific clients to access the internet. You can also configure which websites can be visited without requiring login authentication. The last step is to select which interfaces will be used by this hotspot profile. Click finish to save the settings. After completing the configuration, we can now test that the web portal works as expected. Now users will need to log in with their social media accounts to use the internet. They will have a choice of using either Facebook or Google as shown here.